My conversations with the children in the class have taught me all sorts of things. Like what? Specialist terms crop up every now and then, but that would be true of dealing with students at any vocational school. Yeah, those military terms, or gun terms, sniper gun terms, I don't know. And since I'm the one who decided to accept this job, it's me who needs to pull my socks up. That's why I'm noting down any unfamiliar words and looking them up later. It's the least I can do. There are more new terms to memorize than I had imagined, but you will encounter the same problem going to any new job, and overcoming it is what makes me feel like I'm truly earning my keep. I don't have any traveling issues aside from that for the time being. The children aren't exactly a handful. Okay, so we're going to describe each and every girl, maybe Haruto too, but Haruto is still a big mystery, you know. It's just like in the Fruit of Grisaya, where Yuji's past is a big mystery until we get into the labyrinth of Grisaya onwards, right? So right now here, yeah, um, Haruto is a big question mark right now. At least the four girls we get to know a bit about them, but Haruto so far, hmm. Anyway, Reina sounds exactly as she appears. She's cheerful, kind, and she likes Aoi-kun a lot. Though maybe a little too much? It certainly looks like that sometimes. But I wonder what's really going on. Mm, yeah, I would like to find out too, like, oh, how, why did, she, you know, is it like, uh, Haruto saved uh, Reina or something like that, you know? And what did she mean by saying that he bought her? Yeah, that's another thing. Maybe it's like she, she used to be a slave, you know, for somebody and then he just, you know, redeemed her, bought her. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I could ask her directly, so I wasn't able to confirm what, what she had intended. Maybe it would be better to ask Aoi Kun later. I'll make a note of it. Like everyone says, Toka-san tends to hide her true feelings, and she's a little sharp tongue. She's always irritable and violent, but she's definitely not a bad kid. Well, she's like that because, like as I think I said before, she's a tsundere, so you know, you know how tsundere is act, right? She might appear childlike with that small stature of hers, but she's a deep thinker. I don't know if it's a form of pride exactly, but it's clear that she understands exactly what kind of person she is. Oh yeah, I, I think I never mentioned this before, but I like those earrings that she wears. Although, is it actually, uh, is it, you know, part of the rules that you're allowed, is, I mean, are you allowed to wear ear, earrings or earpieces, I don't know. I don't want you coming to me with every little problem, but when you've really packed into a corner, come talk to me before you go off deciding things on your own and digging an even deeper hole for yourself. That's what she told me. Yeah, we can definitely say that Toka's a smart girl. She doesn't want people to expect too much of her, but she doesn't mind people depending on her either. She's easy to read even if she can be a challenge to deal with. <laughs> the problems Murasaki-san. Oh yeah, Murasaki is a big mystery. Another one, because she's a ninja and the way she speaks is very mysterious, which I like, but yeah. What kind of personality does she has? I'm sure she has a harsh time also. I mean, every one of these girls, and even Haruto himself, you know, has a dark past. And I would be curious about Murasaki's past too, you know. She's the only girl I still have no clue about. Or more specifically, I don't have any clues to go on. Actually, come to think of it, Murasaki, we didn't actually see Murasaki in the previous episode, right? No, we didn't. She changes her manner of speech every time I see her, and whenever I ask her something, all I get is gibberish. Her personality is constantly shifting, and impossible to grasp. Well, that's why she's a ninja. <laughs> and what was that? all that about ninjas? I get what a ninja is, but could she actually be one? And a Russian ninja to boot? Was she trying to mess with me? top it off, I just can't get a read on her. Or maybe she doesn't emote enough for that to be possible. Plus, she rarely laughs. Well, I've never seen her laugh at least. 
Well, but she's sneaky. When I asked her about that, she just replies that, replied that ninjas never laugh. Since I wasn't sure whether she was joking or not, I could only mumble and nod along in response. Okay, Arisaka. So it's, it's actually kind of funny that Arisaka never actually thinks about Haruto, even though Haruto is a student of her class too. She, I mean, all throughout so far, she has only been thinking about these four girls, but nothing about Haruto, which is kind of strange, isn't it? Maybe I should try discussing this with Aoi-kun? Oh, who's this girl? Another student? Hmm. I don't think this is one of the main characters, so I wonder who this is. Who is this girl? Eh? Konoko? Dare daro? Dokukate atta kana? Sensei, Haruto no Kenkyo Stunikuno? Datara watashimo is so dakara, and nice in my shoka. Oh, okay, so you're related to Haruto somehow? Oh, hoi! Huh? What? Why is this kid being so casual? Have we met before? Was she the girl on the broadcasting committee who set up the mic, my mic when I addressed the school assembly? Oh, okay, I guess this part is skipped uh, off screen, it happened off screen. No, it's not her. That girl was taller and had short hair. Then, who is this? Why are you so surprised though? Haruto, you and I like how the translation put her as pretty girl. <laughs> well, she is pretty, no doubt. <laughs> ah, yes, come in. Hmm, oh yeah. So, you know, Haruto does have his own office, even though he's a student. Hmm. Yeah. Cool, a pretty cool office, by the way. Welcome back. How was it? Shiro wa moratte kita kedo, watashi no hokoku wa ato de iyo. Sore yori. Ah. Oh, Miss Arisaka? What's up? Etto, Aoi kun ni skoshi kite o kitai koto ga arimashite. Yeah, first question who is this girl? <laughs> right. Well, how about you sit down first? I'll pour you some tea. But it looks like this girl is his secretary or something like that. すみません。私がいれよっか。うん。いいし、テロケ。いいよ。コーヒー、紅茶。ミッチフォーチュープリファーミス。あ、でしたらコーチャをいただけますか?コーチャ。はい。わかった。ちょっと待ってね。おお。
えー、マジめんどいつかお湯沸かしてる最中だしあー so probably she was on the job that's why she was disguised like this then now that she's back she's too lazy to you know dress back to her usual self yeah because we know that she's the lazy type of, you know、uh, the fact that she's a sloth in bed say say long ah eat kara just leave it わかったあの紫さんってご姉妹の、uh, ?No, that's Murasaki herself <laughs> No, that's the one and only Ikoma Murasaki 着替え終わったよ<laughs> Well, she's a ninja, so you better believe that she's a ninja. <laughs> Today's job involved me with some big shots at a symposium. That's why she had to go in that outfit. Symposium? What's that? SARS and the 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 SARS. Oh, okay. Basically, It's an annual discussion about what new equipment to use, and we'll take responsibility for any students we put in the field, even if they're from associated educational facilities. The rules governing how we treat personnel and equipment change year after year. They can realistically expect us not to attend. Mmm. Looking pretty makes everything that much easier, don't you think? Kind of true, it's a sex appeal and all. <laughs> that's, that's true, that's definitely true. It's <laughs> not me, the principal's the most, and Murasaki. And it's supposed to be a job anyway, disguise and all, yeah? I don't know if you can see the color of 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 the Ichiu-san gives you these kinds of jobs precisely because you say things like that, you know? You jelly, okay. I'm a cat, Teru, I know. That's supposed to be the point, you're not supposed to understand her. <laughs> She's a, she's a mystery, and that's what you're supposed to know her as. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you don't even want to be understood. <laughs> Show some affection my way. Let's talk about this some other time. Murasaki <laughs> sometimes wears disguises. Once we get used to it, you should be able to tell it's her right away. I I, to be honest, I really didn't know it's her, no. Really, seriously. I do.、Uh, how to actually say it so? Mm, okay. Oh, really? If you order her to laugh, she'll laugh, you know. Rasaki, laugh! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you laugh like an old man, Murasaki? And that's a very, 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 very creepy laugh. <laughs> What the heck? See? Oh, 
Okay, maybe she doesn't laugh, but she does smile, you know, like this this cheeky smile right there. <laughs> So basically, you're too lazy to express yourself. Okay. Yakuni,普段の自分を大げさに演出して仕事の時には個性を消す忍者もいるけど。Ah, okay. So you monodesco. Put on Karasibuno, all the sunny oak, Kumiserno, Scarlet, Ishkita Kaikeda to more at the moment. I kind of get that because, because, you no, know, sometimes it's very tiring, it's really very tiring to act, act, you no, know, on many fronts, you know. It's really very tiring, you just want to be yourself. And I can get Murasaki. But Murasaki is the lazy type, so she she would definitely find it tiring to you know act yeah on many fronts, too many disguises, you no. Know? Yeah, just she just wants to be herself, you know. Yeah, that's kind of true too, yes. Mm, okay. Even sleeping character. それはなんていうかすごいですねまあ忍者だからねあ、忘れてたディンでもそうそうしていた忍者のイメージとはちょっと違うかなわあ、<laughs> <laughs> well, she do still does look like a ninja. Even her background music sounds like a ninja music. So. <laughs> oh yeah, always ninjas always end their lines with Gozaru, right? <laughs> or Nin Nin. <laughs> oh you want her to do that? Sure, she can disappear right in front of you you know, right now, no? <laughs> Oh, you think this is magic? Well, it, well, unfortunately, I don't think there's any magic in this. this no, no, there's no magic. <laughs> A few ninja detectives. Ninpo. Yeah, I've heard of those kind of terms, uh, like 1,000 years of pain, yeah. Occult oh, hex. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> now you're getting scary, Murasaki. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris is back. Come in. Hmm. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Really? There's always someone kicking up a great fuss in here. Oh, we already had some. Thanks. お湯なら今沸かしてるよ。だったら後は私がやります。紅茶ですか？いや、でもいいです。Thanks。それじゃ、私も行ってもいい。うん。いや、Thanks。ご苦労様。シンポジウムでもらってきた資料は置いていって。
カルトに渡してあるよ。OK。では、後で、私のデスクの上にお願いします。目を通しておきますので。Thanks。Will do。Well, I just want to say that so far I think I like the character progression in this vision novel. Like, so far we are introducing, you know, the vision novel is introducing the various characters and then they are now they are like the vision novel is expanding on their characters so we get to know their daily lives, you know, how they operate. So probably later we get to know their day to day operations. I mean, yeah, and that sort of thing. And then what they do outfield later on, maybe. Yeah. So definitely love to know more about these characters. So, what did you want to ask me? さんのショックで内容を忘れてしまいました。確かメモを。Oh no。あ、レナさんのことで少し確認しておきたいことがありまして。Okay. Ah, you wanna right? She wants wanted to ask him about、uh, what's what her relationship is to him, right? レナ、did she do something? いえ、そういうわけではないんですが。Okay, here we go. We're probably digging a bit into her past now. Ah, that. Uh, no, it's okay. It's nothing important. Where should I begin? She claims that I bought her, but it would be more accurate to say that I hired her.、Oh, okay, so it's, not a, it's none of that sort that I was thinking, like redeem or bought that sort of thing. <laughs> it's just her imagination, but really it's just that he hired her. Okay. Right. I hired Rena to be my shooter. It's a long story, so I'll spare you the details. When Sirs was undergoing reform, a new rule was passed allowing every inspector to carry arms at all times. I've always been terrible with guns, but I was told by Sirs to carry one anyway. Being permitted to carry arms should mean that it's equally alright not to. But when I pointed that out, I was told not to split hairs. Don't you think that's a little odd? Well, after that, They gave me a gun that was easy to fire, and made all sorts of modifications to make it, ah,、uh, do it to make it easier to aim. But I just couldn't help the fact that I was terrible with firearms. Ultimately, I decided to have someone else do the shooting in my place, and have them accompany me everywhere I went. That's basically the same as carrying a gun, right? Ah, that Naruhodo. Well, I know you're like, kind of like bending the rules, but hey, whatever works. Right.、Uh, let me give you an example. A millionaire goes to purchase a luxury car from a fancy car dealership. He chooses the top grade model, the full works, and while he's being led to another room to sign the papers, the millionaire says the following By the way, where can I buy a chauffeur around here? If you're a bad driver, you can just hire a chauffeur, right? My, me hiring Rena is exactly the same. She came into my,、um, she came into my employ when she was pre still pretty young, so I guess this idea of her being bought has stuck with her.、Mm. Okay, I, I thought it was something more complicated, but alright. And an auction? <laughs> oh, that story? They hold them overseas for bodyguards, mercenaries, and the like. PMCs and other organizations with distinctive needs use them to buy their way to a full strength fighting force. Oh, that's all I've bought. Okay, so it's like. Mm, auction, so it's like, okay, I want to buy this machinery, okay, I choose you, you know, that sort of thing. Among the exhibitors are former terrorists and revolutionaries of 
question of origin. If you're not careful, you can end up getting more than you bargained for. At one of these auctions, I found a company putting specially trained orphans up for sale. Rena was one of those children. Ah, now that makes more sense. She did strike me as an intriguing kid during the inspection, but to think I would actually end up buying her. Button? Yeah, that's right. Button? What, well, yeah, what button? At least you proved me the beating you all. There were two buttons. One to raise your beat, and another to cancel it. Oh, okay, so you press the button to raise your beat? The exhibits were introduced on stage one after another. You press the former button to place a beat, and each exhibit was awarded to the highest bidder. The hall was extremely crowded that day, so I thought myself lucky to have scored an empty seat. Uh, when Rina's turn on the platform came along, I felt interested enough to place a beat on her, so I went ahead and pressed the button. <laughs> Only for it to get stuck. <laughs> what luck! <laughs> So it just keeps getting stuck, so eventually, he's the highest bidder, for sure. <laughs> I couldn't believe it! I desperately tried to pull the button back out, but since I cut my nails the previous day, if the punch, you're afraid of cutting your nails? Well, you sure are a girly, right? Still care about your fingernails, alright? <laughs> With the, the button depressed the entire time, I watched the figure rise higher and higher, and then finally, I managed to get it back out. <laughs> well, that, that's one way to buy Rena. <laughs> uh, it's like sitting now in the only free seat on the train, only to find a part of vomit from some drunk right in front of you. I learned that day what an empty scene in a crowded place means. It was a valuable lesson. Oh, he can actually choose to cancel his bid or return her to the auction house, but he chose to accept bid. Her. Oh, okay. Well, she's a bit irritating sometimes, but she works hard. Though she's a bit irritating sometimes. Why oh, you repeat it again? <laughs> because she can be so イリテーティングなんで今ちょっとキリッとした顔したんですなんだかいろいろと大変そうですねよくわかりませんけどオッケーおいどんクワイトアンダステンドよくわからないあ、<笑> <Okay. laughs> I don't have any idea how it might feel to buy a person at an auction, and I can't really empathize with someone who could laugh off the incident like it was just another funny story. Yeah, you know that sort of thing, you know, buy, buying a person is like, you know, buy a slave. Yeah, it's like, it sounds kind of sad actually. I know that world exists, but I doubt I'll ever be able, be able to grasp it myself. <laughs> Ah, then she remembered saying this, uh, Chris saying this word, so she's going to say her true feelings, alright. Oh, okay, no. Is Chris actually telling Arisaka while her eyes are closed? Miss Arisaka, you serve as the academy's window onto the outside world, in a manner of speaking. When a bunch of weirdos like us gather together in one place, they often don't realize what's so, so strange about each other. Ah, okay. We are extremely grateful when those teachers try to comprehend the school and its students. But there's no need for you to agree with everything. Please don't forget that every student at this school is unusual in some way. Yeah, but they are weird also. Mm. No, you're not imagining that. They are definitely full of cute kids, girls, and all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's. Uh, yeah. That's in large part down to the principal's taste. 
There seems to be some exceptions too. What Chris is the exception? <laughs> Any girl, no matter how ugly they actually are, can end up looking oddly adorable if you keep insisting on cute they are. What you mean, Chris is not cute? And then they start acting cute too. Girls truly are mysterious creatures. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, but well, Chris looks cute. Yeah, she does. In the past, I was watching a television show and I was doing a good job and I was training a dog and I was getting a Um, I don't know why you bring up the thing about dog. <laughs> So you're like saying these girls are dogs? Uh, that's actually the first step of brainwashing, you know that? Kids that are susceptible to brainwashing will actually get stronger if you tell them they're strong. Brainwashing, huh? You're right, it's not very nice, is it? You might say it's closer to subliminal messaging, actually. When you tell a kid they're strong, Subconsciously, they stop feeling any embarrassment around that word and start putting their all into their training. Well, that's kind of true, you know. That this is kind of true, yes. They have to just keep saying, you're strong, you're strong, you're strong. Then naturally, they buy into it, you know. It's the same when you tell a child they're cute. They subconsciously start trying to act that way. There are a bunch of cute girls here, because that's the way the principal likes to take it. But don't you get the impression that they're all the sort who would be more susceptible to subliminal messaging? In other words, the kids here who don't instantly strike you as cute are actually the ones more resistant to brainwashing. Ah, makes sense. Those who are resistant to subliminal messaging are better suited to complex psychological warfare. They never lose sight of themselves, and they're not tempted to give in to their immediate desires. People like that are useful in their own way. So you're saying Chris is the sort that is better suited to complex psychological warfare. That's why she does the intelligence thingy. Makes sense. <laughs> but that's like saying Chris is not cute. But she is cute. <laughs> I wasn't necessarily talking about you, you know. You're the type who's super susceptible when it comes to subliminal messaging. Okay, she is super susceptible, okay. Hmm, she's not resistant, alright. You hadn't realized? With the cooking, for example. <laughs> but, well, Chris may be the one that seems the most calm, but... Well, when you actually appeal to her desires, you never know. Krishna takes charge of making meals for her uh, housemates in the school dormitory, but she wasn't able to cook at all to begin with. She was only able to make eggy rice or add mayonnaise to canned tuna. Then one day, Chris made this exquisite curry. It was so delicious that everyone lavished her with praise, and ever since then, this has gotten better and better at cooking. Ah, okay, so she wants to be praised, no? Hey, we now get to learn more about you, Chris. <laughs> nah, she used to be cuter. Wanna see a picture of her when she first joined the school? <laughs> it's the photo you submitted with your entrance form. Look, her hair's so messy, and she's wearing these dorky glasses. It's like she came straight up from the ponies, right? Isn't that little country bumpkin the cutest? What, so you're into nerds, Haruto? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, the country girl? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, this is the only copy. You better give it back later. 
No! <laughs> I need to see that photo. You don't you don't like being caught cute like Toka? Okay. Well, that, I guess that's kind of true. Then should I call you that you're cute on the inside? <laughs> uh, that's kind of twisted. <laughs> Bit like that too, huh? No, don't! <laughs> hey, where are you going? I told you that's the only copy. Give it back. Uh, yes, I'll just show it to Arisaka and that's it. Okay? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. I promise. Hey, do we just walk off free? Okay. Ah, jeez. What was all that fuss about? Yeah, I can see that. Really? She's a jack of all trades and must of none. And she ends up taking on all the worst jobs. Aww. Other kids are prioritized when it comes to applying for equipment subsidies and holidays, but she's not the kind of complain, so I end up putting her right at the bottom of the list for everything. Mm. I always feel bad about that, but Chris just smiles and says she doesn't mind. In my opinion, that's what's cute about her. Though if I ever say that in public, I will get a punch in the gut for sexual harassment, so I keep my mouth firmly shut. <laughs> well, like I, well, you said so before, Arisaka, that calm people tend to do things if you anger her a lot, no? <laughs> I feel sorry for Chris. I make her put up with so much, and she's just so nice about him, it, you know? So it's fine. <laughs> Uh, you said so yourself that they surely will have dark past, you know, Arisaka, so... Before we even get to what makes a kid strong, I just want to say, Chris can actually hold her own. She might not look it, but she's the scariest one in the class. Yeah, I can see that. That's right. Rina may look, might look strong since she is so tall and wears her heart on her sleeve, but she's actually the wimpiest in the class. A big crybaby, frankly. Crybaby. You must have noticed. Her behavior is kind of childish, right? It's probably due to her upbringing. Her physical and mental maturity are a bit out of, out of whack. Emotionally unstable. That's only one part of it. It's not such a big issue. She's not really that abnormal. What you see is what you get. It's Toka who isn't quiet as she appears. Ah, yeah, she's the tsundere. With the friend she puts on, she looks rather violent. Perhaps kind of rough around the edges. She's actually a total need freak. If the books on the shelf aren't in order, she'll up and sort them herself. And she's been known to turn up the meetings an hour early. So she's the OCD type. <laughs> okay, Toka. She irons all her clothes crisply and folds them corner to corner. And it's a mystery how she manages to fit everything in her work bag. Like she's stacking tetriminos. Her mother is German, so maybe she gets it from her. Oh wait, you're still talking about Chris? Okay, so oh, so Chris's mother is a German. Technically, her first language is American English, which is why she speaks so informal, informally, even to authority figures. Oh, okay, we're talking about Toka. Alright, 
uh, let me just backtrack a bit. Yeah, Toga is the neat freak, you know, the OCD type. And her mother is German, I didn't know that. So, okay. So, Toka's mother is actually German, okay, I didn't know that. And Toka's first language is American English. I, well, I actually thought like, maybe Christina, Chris is the one whose first language is American English given her uh, English name, but then again, she was, she came, she was born in Shanghai, I think. Yeah, that's why it was mentioned, right? So she's actually a Chinese, but anyway. Okay, so yeah, to Japanese people, she can come across as blunt, or a bit arrogant. I'm not sure why, but she's always bring me with confidence. And she's a total wisecracker. She often tries to act all grown up, but she's basically still a little kid. So, that's good. She's got a stern up to my machine. Tokidoki, Kawai, and I said, I got a nut to my mosquito. Yeah, that's Toka. It's just impudence. You can lecture her all you want, but she won't listen. Gakuni, what does she know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you want to try and get Toka to reflect on her behavior, you should just ignore her. Yeah, ignore her then she'll think, why are you not reacting to, to me? Yeah. Just look her in the eye and brush off whatever she says. She'll get really riled up at first, but she'll come down eventually. I'm the one who deserves your pity. It's me she was kicking. Yeah, I've definitely learned a lot too, you know, on my side. You don't need to take notes of anything, okay? I'm just giving you my own views on the matter. Take them with a pinch of salt. Okay, Sanko. But when it comes to this, it's a mess. Conundrum. Ah, Murasaki's. Yeah, she doesn't talk about herself much. In fact, she's a girl of very few words. She often uses strange analogies, and it can be difficult to tell what she's thinking. Behind that blank expression of hers hides an array of emotions, but she's the type not to let them pop up to the surface, so you really have to puzzle her out yourself. But she's not bad at it. It's just that she thinks other people will get mad at her if she depends on them too much. Yeah, she's a one complicated being. But things are going well now, aren't they? Hmm. Work is work. It's not so much a matter of them hiding their true selves. I'm sure they're just afraid of you reaching with disappointment once you encounter that side of them. Like maybe you can like talk to them after school or something, you know, Hokago after school. And then yeah, you know, have more personal time. While still maintaining the teacher-student relationship. それは理解しますが、教師として学生を指導する立場としては、学生に何も知らないくせにって思われたら、これほどやりにくい仕事はないです。うん。いや、teaching well, that's what being a teacher is, you know, Arisaka, you have to be patient. It's just like, you know, any relationship, you know, you want to build, build relationship with a friend, with a strong relationship, it takes time, you know, it's not just with a snap of the fingers, it takes time. Dear special girls, there are lots of things you're still not used to. But you get the hang of it in no time. Alright, we get we get to know a lot more about the students. 